So what's really interesting to me is we got bumped off. This is the second part of our reading. And uh, I had my phone on Do Not Disturb. And it said to accept calls from no one. But a call came through and it knocked me offline. And I said, this shouldn't have been able to happen. I had it on Do Not Disturb. So I set my settings to Do Not Disturb, but it didn't work. So I went through my settings. And this song is talking about maybe I should stop and start confessing. Somebody, I, I, I watch her. I think about her and she knows it. Maybe I should stop and start confessing. So somebody is doing that. <clears throat> um, I went back and I went through my settings and it said, do not accept calls from anyone ever. But there was a section in there that said um, um, at any time or it was highlighted when the phone is silent, like when the phone is down. And that wasn't switched. So I was interrupted. I felt that I was protecting myself. I put a do not disturb sign out. But I was, it broke through my do not disturb because I didn't set the right setting. There was one setting I missed. So there's something that's missed. Um, and in protection here, I'm trying to think of where we were at. I'm sorry. I was mad. I thought that's not okay. That's not okay. I put up a shield of protection and you got through my barrier. Even though I was putting up a shield of protection, there was something that I missed, something that I wasn't aware of or wasn't, you know why? Because this is a new phone and my other phone, I, I switched that to always and not just when the phone is on silent. Um, but this is a brand new phone and so I had to change my settings. I'll, I'll know I'll get messages in this um, when I listen back later. But um, right now, Spirit is saying, yes. Oh, that's what I was talking about, the Divine Masculine. Use the Divine Masculine as the sun goes in and fills our body up. That, and that's when we got cut off. So the Divine Masculine, as the sun comes in and fills our body, it highlights all of our chakras. It's going to burn off because it's, the, it's like molten lava coming in from the sun that heat, that, that, the fire, it's going to burn off anything that's inside negative thoughts, feeling energy that we have polluted our inner shield. It's going to stimulate and highlight and clear. And we've already had Archangel Metatron come forward and clear and balance our chakras. And now we're being filled with this masculine energy, this self propelled movement, right? It's going to fill, it's going to go up through the top, right out, shoot out our crown, like a volcano, like a volcano. I just said that we were in the eye of the storm. It's interesting. Um, it feels like it's calm, but there's something going on, right? So it's things aren't as they appear. Um, so as it pours down over top of us, when it hits the outside, it's going to cool. And like lava, it protects, a, it forms a protective shield. We're going to ask for it to be an armadillo, titanium, titanium plated shield. So nothing gets through it. And we're going to see the, the shielding, the plating go down. Just imagine it like a like one of those metal grates closing all the way down tight and then we want to ask for a, a, a mirror plating to go all around the outside and look at there goes the crow again out of the void the darkness I'm telling you there's something about the crow that keeps showing up <clears throat> um, because the mirrored plating is going to um, reflect back. Whoever is throwing anything at us or coming at us, it's going to reflect back on them. That's their own karma going back on them. That's why we're, we, are, we are protecting ourselves. We are not going to stoop ourselves to that level. We are not going to mudsling. We, are not, we don't have to. Remember, Spirit says we don't have to say anything. We rise above. We will protect ourselves. We will be aware. We won't be stupid. We'll put a shield of protection and we will know when to camouflage, when to pull back. Because yes, we have a shield of protection. We are shining our light, but we're wearing a cloak as well. And the crow was the one of the messages that came, all, kept coming yesterday in our reading. And it was saying that there's a great transformation right now. But we are prepared for this change. We are prepared. What we've been through and what we have learned has brought us to this place now. And what's interesting is the crow says without darkness there is no light you're being guided through this so the crow keeps going by out of the darkness that shows you the light you can't see the dark without the light you can't see the light without the dark it's 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 you need everything a 
perfect balance. We all have dark and light within us as well. And spirit saying, don't be afraid to use your voice and speak out with integrity. Know that you will need to address these issues in order to restore harmony. That is what the crow said. And the crow is coming out of the darkness. And remember, I said the other day in our reading, the crow was being mobbed by other birds, nagging birds, mocking jays. They were mocking you. Remember? They called you the dark one. Remember, tarot is evil. They're mocking you. But it's not us that is coming from the darkness. They cast the darkness upon us and try and make us look like we're dark, but we are not coming from the darkness. We're coming from the light. They are. Just like the chess game in the Akashic Tarot showed the, how the queen came and tried to, and knocked over the dark queen, right? But it wasn't the dark queen that was the wrong one, the one that was coming from the darkness. It was the shiny, benevolent facade, the glitzy, glamorous one that appeared like that innocent one that was eating all the ones around. And I, I was shown this was a young person. This is either an immature person, a gossip is definitely an immature person, can be 70 years old. If you're gossiping and acting like that, you're immature. That's the energy that it is. It's either that or it's a young person that just doesn't have a clue. Or they're spiritually sleeping. They're sleepwalkers. <clears throat> so the fact that the crow kept coming by, crow is telling you, you've been working hard to get where you're at. And the crow is giving you guidance and messages. Pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to the omens that are coming. They're clear. You might be spreading yourself too thin. Be clear about what you're trying to manifest. Amazing how um, spirit slings all this stuff together. I love, I love, I love, I love. Crow tells you you've got magical abilities waiting to be discovered. So explore them. You are not the victim. You are not in a gilded cage kept. There is a cage and you're in it. You're, you're allowing yourself to stay there. The door's open. Because there is divine balance in everything. You are being guided through this if you so choose. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> Sorry, see there's so much clearing that needs to take place. <clears throat> we need to clear our energy. Now that we've got that shielding around us, again, we've cleared our energy and we put that shielding around us and we're watching and we're aware and we're paying attention to the omens and the signs. We're going to listen to another message. What does the spirit want to say? You don't know what you've got until it's gone. I wish someone would have told me, babe. That someday these would have been the good old days. This is someone regretting that they didn't speak up. Didn't say what they wanted to say. Missed the opportunity. And now it's gone. But Spirit's saying, you've got the courageous ability within you. Speak your truth. The crow said the same thing too. Speak out. You're going to need to speak out in order to bring harmony to the situation. Know that... Whoever it is that's doing this, whoever it is that was coming against you, they can't hurt you when you ask for spiritual protection. Spirit will give it to us. We have asked. We have now just all of us together have put on a shield of protection, and we're asking for messages and signs. Please give me clues, and I don't want breadcrumbs. I want freaking bullseyes. I want a red sign. I want my body to get a chill or a flush, or as soon as that, that person comes up, I want a song to come on the radio saying who this person is. For me, it's the animal messengers. Show me the animal messenger that I need to see. <clears throat> Yesterday, there's the condor, California condor. Two messages in that. I mean, there's a lot of messages, but two sides of the coin. And you have to pay attention to that as well when you see your animal messenger that comes. The California condor speaks about death, rebirth, and transformation. That's positive. But the California condor is also a vulture waiting to pick you off. Right? It can be used to clean up things, but it can also be the one... When the vultures are circling and they think that you're down and out, think again, we will rise. So when I, I was finished doing my reading yesterday, I was out there, it was beautiful. I was looking up at the clouds and I recorded and I said, look at the California condor flying. And in the sky, there was a giant California condor in the clouds. But right above that was a, a cat's head and a, and a dog's head as well. And I gave the qualities. Now I looked at it as all positive. But I always have that message about big dogs that ride for free, the dogs that don't want to do their work, right? They want to ride on the coattails of others. And then the catty women. I saw a dog and a cat in the sky. And then I saw the condor. You look at all the different messages, the cat, flexibility, seeing in the, in the dark, um, curiosity, independence, um, can be catty, right? Um, territorial, dogs, 
protection, best friend, family, um, love, unconditional love, loyalty, um, can be aggressive, can be, um, it, it, you, have, you have to put them all together and figure out what it is that it means for you. It's not that difficult when we ask for help. I'm going to put you guys sideways because I'm, um, oh, wait, do I need to? Hold on. I had you guys plugged in because I was up, no, I'm good. I was uploading the reading that got bumped. So you may feel that you are protected, but clearly there is something that is not protected. There's a part of your shield that is, that you need to go back and check out, check out or go back and pay attention to who maybe you've allowed back in that maybe you have, you knew that they needed to go, but maybe you've allowed them back in for some reason. Um, and if somebody is portraying themselves as something other than they are, that's not okay. Whatever the reason is, they need to come to you as they are because someone's camouflaging themselves. Sorry, I was uploading that video. Okay, <clears throat> that's it for protection. We don't need to have you guys go sideways because I have uploaded. We don't need to have you guys go sideways. No, we don't. We want to go straight, right? Jeez. All right, so we're going to go to the Fairy Oracle. This is a long reading, yes. But this is the one I wanted, the happy one I was paying attention to. I thought, oh, I could read the cards, right? This is a, usually a happy deck for me. <laughs> and uh, the vampire wouldn't let me go. The vampiric energy would not let me go. And there was a lion camouflaged on the path. So there could be a Leo. You know, there could be a Leo in your life that's negative. Pay attention to the Leos in your life. If you have a bad feeling already, that's a pretty big sign that they're camouflaging their true intentions. And the rocks are exposed in the emotional waters. Take steps to protect yourself. There's a Leo. Correct neutrality on all levels. <clears throat> a cowardly lion. That's what I just thought. Okay. This is a reverse deck. Okay, so this is a beautiful card. Thank you. I love to end on something happy. So here we see the fairy lovers. This is new love. This is new love or romance or falling in love. They're both of the forest, which I love as well. They're, they're grounded and, they're, and what they have is rooted. It's strong. They're standing on an oak tree and it's covered in roses. It's blooming. It's blossoming. The color of uh, the solar plexus and the heart for healing and, and uh, love and self-worth and we can have and do and be anything we choose to be this is fun this is a fun love this is the beginning this is the blissful euphoric feeling that you have that that giggle in your in your that you just oh when you shine right your chemistry you guys are like bang now this is new love so chemistry changes right so <clears throat> this is in the positive these ones have found each other and they're dating. They don't quite know the absolute bliss that's going to come because they haven't given in to that desire yet. So the songs that we got, right, I knew, I always knew how I felt that I was afraid to let you know. But I, but now I know how far we've come. And this, that's the one that was talking. What about us, right? It's time for us. I don't want to control. I want to let go. I want to let go of my control. I want to let go of... Of, of holding back my, because of fear, I want to let go, I want to take a leap of faith, I want to go for this, right? This is the, this is a gift that you want. This is when your dopamine levels are high, right? This is where you feel like you're on a, a natural high. This is coming. This is coming for you. An energy, an exchange, flirting between you and someone else. It's interesting, in my dream last night, I watched somebody, oh, this is it. I watched somebody take a drink. It was after what I saw. It was after what I saw with the Kodamandi and the, and the, the little kitten. I, then I went with my friend into this house and there was a child playing in the house and another child wanted to play and the other child wouldn't allow them to. And I said to my friend, allow them to play. And she, they said, no, leave it. And I thought, well, that other kid's a brat. That's interesting. And then I went to another room and I had picked up a book and I was drinking from this book. And somebody came over like I shouldn't be drinking from this book. So somebody didn't like it. But when I took a drink from the book, it's like I picked up a book and poured this liquid into my throat. It didn't, it wasn't a strong 
Um, it wasn't strong. It wasn't like, you know, alcohol tasting. I don't like alcohol. So it's interesting that I would pick up a book and drink. But what I was drinking from, and somebody said, what, um, what did they ask me? Ha, um, you know, when you talk about alcohol, the potency of an of alcoholic, what is the, oh, what is it called? Percentage, right, of alcohol in it? They asked something like that. They said, what is, what proof is that? I think that's what they said. What proof is that? Um, and I was taking a drink from this book. So taking a drink, that would be when, when you, when you are um, drunk on love, right? And the book was, and when I tasted it, it was sweet. It wasn't strong. It wasn't, um, it wasn't a negative. When somebody, but somebody didn't want me to take a drink from that book. So this is a book. This is interesting. This is a message that's coming. And you are taking the, a drink of this. Maybe before you. Maybe it's yourself. Maybe that person in the song, remember the, the one that was hiding, camouflaging, the one that wasn't coming forward and not speaking their truth. They were thinking it in their head, but they hadn't said it. They hadn't said it out loud. So the one that was saying you shouldn't drink from that, because taking a drink of the elixir of love, right? If you shouldn't drink from that, was that you're yourself, your fear saying that? You didn't feel worthy or you, didn't, you were afraid to do that? Or is it someone else, these, these nattering ones, these busybodies, right? The, the code of money that's in everybody's business, that's using, <clears throat> pretending to be somebody else, maybe acting like your friend, but talking behind your back or manipulating things. You have to ask yourself all of these different things. What proof is that, is what the person said. And it was interesting. I said, it, it doesn't say on here. I don't know what kind of drink it is. But it felt like I was drinking out of a book. It was strange. Now there was a woman doing an oracle card reading. And my friend are in the card. Would you do a reading for me, my friend says. Okay. The woman says, I'll do a reading. I'll do one card. She picks a card, it's a queen of something. Now think about that, the queen. If you're in the queen, that's, that's uh, if it's in the upright, which I didn't hear it in the negative, that's good. The queen is loving, she's in control. She is, she is um, reached a status of um, luxury and responsibility and she cares for her kingdom and her, but she knows that she delegates authority. She works, she has ones that work for her. So she could be the one, a queen status that others are jealous of, right? This is the queen is what she pulled out. She starts to tell her story. My friend looks at me and the woman, and she asks the woman three questions, but they were questions that we already knew the answers to. So here, see, here we see someone questioning, right? Like what's in my future about, you know, I'm getting married, blah, blah, blah. I think she's testing her to see if we already know that we, something we already know. Um, she wants to see if she knows what she's doing. She doesn't believe the girl. So the woman, says, yes, I'll do a reading for you. And then my friend says, um, I, oh, no, then, then I say, would you do one for me too? I'll do one for you in exchange. And then my friend says, no, you don't do it that way. That's not how you do it. And I was kind of confused. Well, be because if I said, I'll, I'll exchange one for you, that means that I'm aware, right? And I'm, I, I'm on to, I, I would be on to you if you're telling me a story. That's not how you do it. Um, because then the, clearly the woman would know. So the lady starts to do the reading and she's telling her what's happening, but my friend's not listening to her. She's not interested in what she's saying. And the lady looks up at her like, hello, like she knows she doesn't have her attention. And she goes, oh, sorry. And then she pretends that she's listening. So these are people who are pretending to be your friends. They're not your friends. Somebody who's pretending to be interested in your work, somebody trying to catch you. So they're manipulating circumstances. Um, somebody, uh, uh, somebody who doesn't want to play fair, right? Um, somebody that doesn't want you to take a drink of something. They want to, what, where's the proof in that? So maybe you're wanting this and the person is trying to disprove this, this other person in your life. Could be that person that the reason that person hasn't come forward is because there's other people in the background speaking in their ear, saying negative things. I had a dream the other night where somebody came forward and told my twin that I was speaking to and seeing multiple people and they told me he was too. And I said, that's not the truth. But that was being said. So right, right now, all of this is coming into play. All of this is coming into play. You want to take a drink of this. You, you have recognized, I've always cared about this person. I've always felt this way, but I haven't said anything because I was afraid. Why were you afraid? Was it because other people were saying things? Because this is in the upright. 
Spirit says that they want you to take a drink of this nectar. They want you. This is the book that I saw in my dream. Taking a drink from this book, from this oracle card, from this book of knowledge. This is something that's blessed by Spirit. Remember, we were going to get two offers. One was positive, one was narcissistic, or not in our highest good. Because Spirit says you're about to get to be intoxicated by love. But it's not a negative. Remember, what proof is that? You're going to get drunk there. I'm about to fall. I'm about to fall in love. I'm going to, be, I'm going to become alive. I'm going to love with a fierce ferocity, with passion. I'm going to allow this. And it's not going to burn out. Don't, af don't be afraid that this is a fly-by-night. That's what Spirit's telling you. This feeling and this love is real. Someone's probably telling you different. Don't believe in that. This could last forever. The person said, I've, I've cared about you from the beginning. I, I've known all along, but I was afraid of coming forward and, and speaking my truth. And Spirit's saying, you need to do this. Remember, there was an opportunity in front of you. You don't want to miss. You don't want someone to say, I wish I would have told you. They would have told me, babe, that these would have been the good old days. These were going to be the good old days. Take advantage of that, right? Because you're about to fall in love with a beautiful other. And you're going to be spellbound. This is a positive. This isn't, ma this isn't black magic. This isn't somebody doing something in the negative. They will love you too. And then what you come, when you come together, what you get by coming together, you too will outdo and outrun all the fear that has been holding you back. What you will experience together. It's going to outweigh everything that has held you back. You've allowed too much time to go by. You've been hiding your feelings, your emotions. You've been listening maybe to others that were jealous and envious. This is about courtship. Now, it doesn't have to be a brand new love. This could be a revival because we are in the, we are, Mercury retrograde, retrograde end, ended yesterday, but we have the last two weeks and, and it can happen at any time of the year, but especially during this time of year, you know, re, reconnections with others or um, reconciliations with others. This could be a coming together from someone from the past, like that man that was speaking. I've always known it was you. I just was afraid to speak up. So now this is coming forward. Or it could be a revival within the relationship that you're in right now, right? A, a new wave of bliss coming forward. Romance being swept off your feet. You are clearly people who love being outdoors. These are fairy lovers. These ones have the same likes and dislikes. I said to my twin, we need to get a, do you have a truck? We need to get a truck. He, you know, he always had all these different vehicles and get a big fat comforter and go out underneath the stars and make love under the stars. That's, that's what I want to do. Do you have a truck? He goes, I have a truck. And I said, good, that's what we need to do. That's what I want to do. That's what these ones want to do. They want to make love under the stars. They want to be out in nature. They recognize this is, how, this is what helps them stay in love. This was by connecting them to, to spirit, to the natural elements, to what's real. This is literally what Spirit is saying. This is the beginning of the green man and his bride. This is good. This is wild. You can't control it. And maybe that's the problem. Remember the song, I don't want to let go. I, want, I mean, I don't want to control. I want to let go. Because I, I don't want to have to control this anymore. I just want it to run wild. I want this passion to just take over. I want this bliss. I deserve this bliss. I've known I've loved you all this time. We've had trouble. We've had problems. You know, your wife and your husband, you fought, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, you had an issue. Maybe you even broke up. But you know the love is there and you want that back. So you're going to stop hiding your feelings. You're going to stop camouflaging your true feelings. And it's safe to speak your true feelings. The crow said it's safe. The lion said it's safe. Be courageous. Come up off that path. Come out from behind that curtain. Stop being the Wizard of Oz pulling all the strings. Speak your truth because the love that you feel is reciprocated. You are safe. Excellent way to end. Awesome. All right, you guys, you have a wonderful day. I'm going to go out and look at the wind starting to pick up a little bit and the water's a little bit choppy. <clears throat> All right. Have a good day.